Greetings to one and all. Today, that is 21st of October, is celebrated as Police Commemoration Day. In order to honor the sacrifice and valor of our police forces, the history behind this day is that in 1959, on this very day, 10 CRPF police personnel lost their life. by the attack of the chinese forces in ladakh a resolution was passed to honor the 21st of october as the police commemoration day through this video today i am also going to talk about the duty of citizens to assist the police forces during the investigation of a criminal case for example if a police is investigating a case for example a murder case or a drug case then in such big cases if the accused is apprehended by the police then they have to conduct the search of the accused person another situation is that if someone has committed murder and the accused has hit the weapon of offense for example a knife after committing the offense in some place and such accused person is only knowing about the place where the weapon of offense is hidden then in such cases the police can note the disclosure statement of the accused or the accused can be frisked and searched so that if there is any weapon of offense or there any other material connected with the case can be found out during search searches or the disclosure statement it is always good that the police officers need independent public witnesses who are witnessing the search or the making of the disclosure statement by the accused person and thus with this aim the police officer often serve an order to independent public persons to join the investigation and to act as punch witnesses such an order can be passed under section 174 of the ipc and if the public witness does not comply with such an order then it is an offence under section 174 ipc which carries imprisonment up to 1 month or fine amount of rupees 500 or both read with section 42 of the code of criminal procedure since the offence of section 174 ipc is non cognizable offence that is an offence for which the police officer may not directly arrest the public person the officer would be well within its right to ask the public person the name and his address and upon the refusal the police officer can also arrest the public witness who is not cooperating in the investigation such a procedure is very important for securing the conviction of the accused person and such evidence often is seen to be a very important evidence which can lead to the conviction of the accused or if that procedure is not complied with then the accused may also get scot free of the offence and thus in bigger offences like murder or in ndps cases such kind of involvement of public witnesses becomes very important and thus it becomes the duty of the citizens to assist our police forces in order to maintain law and order in the society as a member of this profession i have seen the workings of the police from close quarters they have to get involved in dangerous situations and also they have to deal with 
very high criminals who are gangsters or of such dangerous nature that it becomes imperative as a citizen to honor the sacrifice and the work of our police forces the morale of our police forces must always remain high today i am through this video saluting the work of our police forces thank you for watching my video